Yeah, good evening once more to the members of the media. Um, uh, I think we, from the first we, uh, first we see, we look like we will we'll get a call at any given time. Though we're playing pitches, we also believe that we did not put them, you know, under pressure enough in order for us to, to get a goal, more special first half. But uh, I think uh, they gave us too much space on the ball and time. And we anticipated that they will build up with the two central defenders and look to connect with the front three. So they're always going to bypass, you know, their middle fielders, but their middle fielders will join just to give support uh, to the front three because they're very good at holding the ball and they're also, you know, very good in the air. But I think we, we dealt with that uh, much better uh, in this game. Uh, we, you know, very good uh, when it comes to that, but also at some point we had the ball and then we, we gave it back to them. Uh, when you look at uh, even the few chances that they created, uh, it, was, uh, it was from our mistakes you know, giving the ball uh, away, uh, you know, uh, cheaply because of maybe being uh, uh, too hasty, you know, to to play the ball. So I believe it could have been better from first half. And uh, I think uh, the penalty we got, uh, had we scored that one, the game was going to open up and then we would, we would uh, maybe gonna be able to create more goal scoring opportunities and it could have been a, a different story altogether unfortunately we couldn't take that one but we still you know had the opportunity in terms of creating a goal scoring opportunity to, you know, and, and convert them but it wasn't to be but i must commend uh, the effort of the boys i think uh, <coughs> though i believe we played with uh, you know uh, gear number three and gear number four we couldn't get to five uh, if we had uh, applied ourselves in terms of putting them even more, you know, under pressure, we could have easily maybe get a call, but it wasn't to be. Uh, but yeah, with uh, certain individuals, I think uh, they applied themselves very well, and we can only take the positives going forward, and and work on that tr to try and improve our game. Thank you, coach. I will take. Uh, you've got the mic. Go for it. Um, hi, oh, Coach uh, Isetso from Football Conversations. Uh, coach, your defense is, is pretty steady. Um, you've got willing runners up front. Um, and from what I saw, it, it was just a matter of uh, the midfield actually just completing those, those line-breaking passes at the right time. Um, with that particular problem, do you think it's, it's a problem that can be sorted on, on the training pitch? Or is it a matter of maybe a personal change, just for a bit more creativity in the midfield, a bit more dynamism. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the question. Uh, that's, uh, it's work in progress. You know, uh, you know, when you're trying to get the combinations right, you're always gonna, you know, uh, miss you know certain things out, uh, like you know that chemistry, that tactical understanding. But when you look at our boys right now, though they sometimes get it right, sometimes they don't get it right. If we had more of those, you know, uh, uh, direct runs inside the box, um, especially in the final third entry, and with also, like you, you just said, uh, you know, uh, uh, good decision making and good connection, and that understanding, I think we could have, you know, created even more, you know, uh, chances to score. Uh, we were just unfortunate not to convert from, from three, maybe from the one of George, uh, the one uh, that uh, Shanti had a shot, you know, I think uh, Stebe, if he kept his, you know, eyes on the ball, could have reacted better. There's one uh, from Sikhota as well. There's one we had a 4v2 situation, I think, towards the end of the game. Sikhota, you know, he rushed to, to a shot, you know, shot at goal. He could have committed the defender and then played a cutback. We had two players free coming inside the box because the other player was was with Keegan. So it's, it's that decision making that needs obviously a lot of uh, work, you know, at, uh, at our training sessions. And it's gonna come right, you know, with time. 
But as I said, it's work in progress, but the boys are responding positively. Thank you. The mic is somewhere there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. is Joseph. Coach, uh, it's nearly towards that because we've seen too many numerical advantages. But then there comes a situation where transitional delay, a split second delay, yeah. to split pass and, and completing those those passes. Is yeah. this a, a sign of certain players don't want to make mistakes to impress the coach? Not really. You know, uh, Always, players will always use their own discretion and we allow them to do that because the game is a teacher. So yes, uh, today we could have capitalized, uh, we could have uh, done better in terms of you know decision making, you know, uh, to punish them. But uh, uh, we were not that clinical as well when we had those moments. And uh, we can only learn from this game, we can only learn uh, from certain you know uh, opportunities or that we created and we'll get better with time because you know if you look at the team today uh, Yusuf came back then George Siteve last week you know we played Siteve as one of the two sixes you know and today we said to go a little bit you know higher players than eight because you know uh, we've got Yusuf but I think he was coming too deep and we had to you know keep reminding him to say stay top there with George so that once we you know, manage to come out of, you know, uh, of their, you know, uh, first line of confrontation, then we know that we have already numbers. And at some point we did it very well, but again, poor decision making. But I believe we're going to improve, we're going to improve on that uh, with time. And, but there were a lot of positives and we'll focus more on the positives than the negatives. You've got the mic there and gentlemen, I control the mic. We don't exchange without my control. <laughs> No go, tech, for no go, go for it. Go for it. Thanks very much, Chair. Uh, hard luck for the draw, Coach. Uh, you know, that you don't score a lot of goals, and you know, uh, scoring goals is, is one of the things you need to win a championship. Is, is that a concern for you so far, and how are you going to do with the team? It is uh, definitely a concern, uh, more especially when you are, you know, you are playing at home. You know, uh, when you create chances, would have been. Uh, Another thing to say, we did not create enough goal scoring opportunities. I think today we did, you know, create enough to at least get two goals, and it was unfortunate that we couldn't bury them. And as I said, uh, it gives us, you know, that uh, that task as well as coaches to to focus more on our, you know, uh, finishing, and also those combination in final third entry. You know, we get the chemistry right, and then we'll be fine. Thank you, coach. Last two to three questions. Coach, uh, um, obviously, they uh, don't saw Jabule wasn't in the starting um, lineup for the games today. Is this a case of protecting him now or not working hard enough in training or something? No, it's a case of uh, uh, competition. Uh, we know Jabule is a good player. We know that uh, he's going to come back you know, at any given time. Uh, he's a hard worker by nature, you know. So uh, it's a case of, you know, uh, solely, you know, doing very well and also giving other players that are doing very, very well, creating that competition within the squad. So very soon you're going to come back. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Coach. Last Thank you. Sports Coach, um, yeah. on your points board, I take it is two points lost at home. Um, how do you recover them and where are you? What was your target for the first five to seven matches? that you have played. And uh, if I may just add as well, your conversation with Sitebe before this game, knowing what has happened with him, is something that you consider in Kambewachi, uh, let me deal with him mentally, or was it just on autopilot? Okay, thank you, Prati. Um, uh, what was the first question, by the way? The points. The points, yeah. yeah. Look, we, we, the target was to get 21 points in 10 games. Uh, because, uh, you know, when you analyze our league, you know, in 30 games, if you get 21, 21, 21, give you 63 points. So the chances are huge that for you, it's either you'll be competing or you'll be up, you know, uh, on the lock. So unfortunately, at the, mo at the moment, you know, we, uh, when you look at it, it's more especially this game, we told ourselves that we need to now uh, make sure that we win this one and uh, give, still give us that opportunity to collect uh, in the remaining uh, uh, four games 
you know, to, to get to 21. So that means now we'll be two points short uh, in terms of reaching our target. So we're going to have to dig deeper, you know. And yeah, uh, I cannot falter the, the performance today. I think the boys, you know, uh, did their best. Unfortunately, you know, they didn't have that killer instinct, you know, to, you know, to kill the game off. But I think we can learn from this one and and focus more on the positives that you know uh, that helped us to nearly get the maximum points. Unfortunately, uh, we couldn't. But I think we can learn a lot from this game in terms of the positives that can help us going forward. Last two questions. And, uh, and Sitebe, Sitebe, yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, look, uh, he's been doing very well, and uh, uh, we had to obviously help him mentally to forget about the past and focus more on the future. And he responded positively. I'm glad that he responded positively. Last two questions at the back. Um, Coach, uh, is talking the from Times Life. Um, I'm talking about that uh, goals uh, I concerned for you. Do you think um, Kelly is he the man that can solve that problem? And what can friends expect from him? You haven't had work with him in, uh, for some time now. And uh, the transfer window is still open. I making more signings and where are you post postering? Hold on, coach. The last question there. Let's get the last question. Maybe to uh, coach and Kalabaya from the Spanish Weaver. Coach, uh, I thought it was a positive uh, return from Kama uh, together with Jabul after the slack they've got in a couple of matches. How, how, what, what does it say that you know, our players will probably respond positively and you know that they haven't been perfect their best? Uh, thank you. Uh, the first one. Can take anyone. Coach. And, and the, the, can you remind me the first yes, question? The yeah. Third, the, third, the first one is Caleb. Mm. Mm. Caleb. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, as you know, you know, in, in the modern game today, you focus more on your front, front three, if I may put it that way. So we didn't give you know the whole responsibility to one player, but yes, he needs to help us. He's got the you know the height. He's got good structure. He's quick. You know. So I think he's gonna give us, you know, that different dimension, you know, in terms of uh, the final third entry, and yeah, uh, we obviously expect him to score goals for us. But with the help of other players, you know, he he cannot do it alone. The window yeah. period. The window period. Uh, look, I think, uh, you know, when you're looking for combinations, you don't want to, you know, you avoid, you know, to panic. Because the more you bring in players while you're still looking for combinations, you might not even get it right. So we need to get it right with the players that we have right now and see what we have. We only have, you know, three months is just around the corner in terms of uh, the next window in January. So I think that will give us the opportunity again to say where we need to, you know, to beef up. But for now, I think we have, uh, you know, uh, enough cover in all, you know, all positions. I think we have two or three in one position. So. I think that will help us going forward until uh, we see as uh, the, the season progresses as to where we can beef up. Kama and Jabulo. The last one, Kama and Jabulo. Uh, Kama and Jabulo. Look, uh, these are season campaigners, you know, and uh, they only need our help as coaches. Uh, we are not there to judge them. and. Uh, even the best players in the world sometimes, you know, they lose, you know, uh, uh, form uh, because this is a game of football. People they plan for you, they you know, try to nullify, you know, uh, your strength, you know, to weaken you. So, as a player, I think uh, these are two players that will obviously play a prominent role playing uh, uh, going forward. Not only them, all the players I think uh, that we have at our, uh, at our disposal, I think. Uh, they deserve a fair chance and that's what we're going to do. We're not going to keep a player that we feel is not good enough to be part of the team. But all the players that are there, I think they've done enough, you know, uh, to be part of the team and they were gonna, they're definitely going to get uh, a fair chance to play. Coach Akazwami, members of the media, thank you. Have a good night. We'll see you again at FNB when the 17th. <coughs>